How's everybody doing? Yeah. Cool. Let's talk about transit. Let's talk about transit. Okay. So I work for the Center for Neighborhood Technology. It's a think tank that focuses on urban sustainability. And one of the areas that we focus on is transit. Um, and so, you know, we think a lot about Chicago. We're based here in Wicker Park. We've been in Chicago for 35 years. And we think about the transit system, right? So you have the loop, and all lines lead into the loop, right? That's because every time everybody takes a trip, it's to the loop and back, right? No. no. So 100 years ago, when a lot of the system was built and planned, um, could we kill the lights, please? The loop was the major job to in the region. Um, so now <coughs> the loop is one of five major regional job centers. And it's the only one that's connected to the public transit system, which means that if driving is not an option for you for any number of reasons, it's very expensive, um, you have the disability that prohibits you from it, um, or you choose not to drive because you don't like it. These jobs, five, four out of the five major regional job centers, might as well be on another planet, right? Because you can't get to them. So this is the transit system we have. And it's not just us that thinks it falls behind. Uh, so Governor Quinn uh, commissioned, he got together this group of experts, uh, and they it was called the Northeastern Illinois Transit Task Force. Right? It's really great branding. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know. uh, and so this group of experts got together, and they studied all the areas of how transit in Northeastern Illinois works. And they came up with recommendations on uh, they studied governance, they studied ethics, they studied finance, uh, they studied system performance, and one other thing. I forget, but I'm sure it's very important. So, uh, what they found is again and again, uh, Chicago and the regional transit system doesn't match up with our peers. Ridership is growing faster elsewhere, uh, more areas are served elsewhere, um, the financing of it, they're other regions, our, our peer regions, are investing more in their transit system than we are. So, so what do we do, right? Now, northeastern Illinois, so Cook County and all the surrounding color counties, uh, has something called the Chicago Metropolitan Agency for Planning. It's our regional planning body, and um, uh, one of the things they were tasked with is creating a 30-year, uh, hey, yeah. Look good. Uh, it's creating a 30-year long-range uh, regional plan, and that includes transportation. Um, well, it includes transportation. Right, well, what else is it? We actually have a guest. Um, from, uh, let's see. So we have four chapters in Booster 2040. There is human capital, livable communities, and um, efficient governance, and regional mobility. Right. And so one of the things that CMAP does uh, in this in this long-range plan is they talk about what investments we need to make in the transportation system, from roads to, to, to transit to whatever. And they have a list of projects that they've gathered over the years through an <coughs> unbelievable outreach uh, process. I mean, they've talked, how many people did you guys talk to in your outreach process? It was like something absurd. I don't know. Yeah, it was like, well, in any event, um, so CMAP's outreach process uh, to create this plan was vast. And they're doing it again, actually. Every five years, they have to do an update of it. And so they, they continually add and take up projects. But at any event, there are a huge amount of transit projects that are in GO2 2040 in this plan uh, that people have identified that have sat as plans on the shelf forever. So at CNT, um, with our partners at Trans, we thought, well, why don't we build it? 